Hi everyone, Anthony from SirEnglish.com here. Today we're going to talk about using synonyms in your speaking and writing to expand your vocabulary and to sound more fluent. Okay? Let me give you an example of what I mean. First of all, a synonym is a word which means the same or nearly the same as another word. For example, big is a synonym of huge, uh, which is a synonym of massive, which is a synonym of gigantic. Okay? These are all synonyms. Now, when we speak English, sometimes we use the same words again and again and again in our speaking and writing myself included. So what we need to do is to find which words we use too often. I use the phrase for example too often so I should find a synonym for this phrase. In fact I found a synonym for this phrase which is for instance or to illustrate or as an example. These are all synonyms of for example. So instead of using the same phrase again and again, I can change it. I have options to sound less repetitive and to have a wider vocabulary. What I suggest you do is catch yourself when you say a word again and again and again. It might be a simple word like big or fun or happy, okay? What you then do is go to a thesaurus, thesaurus.com and find a synonym of the word that you use too often or find, in fact, find three or four or even five so that you have these in your mind ready to use instead of the same boring old word. Yeah? And you, first of all, you need to conscience, consciously catch yourself before you say the word because your mind is programmed to say the same boring word like fun or for me, for example. So I need to catch myself before I use the word and change it for the synonym. For instance, okay? And you need to do the same for whatever words you use too often. Catch yourself before you utter them and switch them for the more interesting, more descriptive synonym. In your writing, it's a little bit easier because when you write, you can go back later and change any words that you use too often for an interesting synonym. But when we speak, it's very, very uh, instant and it it's, takes practice to catch yourself. But I suggest you do this, okay? I actually outline this tip in my free ebook, which you can find at sirenglish.com. Um, so I suggest you start using it today to help improve your English sound more fluent and expand your vocabulary range. So head over to sirenglish.com, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Tell me what you think and I'll see you in the next video.